What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into Carlissa, basically throw Callie up under the bus and speak about Blueface. Let's get it. I wanted to hop on here because, hey, Biggie, hey, Biggie, baby. So I wanted to hop on here, y'all, because my daughter is throwing a temper tantrum for me trying to help her yesterday with her performance. Her team had her about to go out with her titties dragging to the floor. <laughs> her ass was ashy. And I, of course, as her mom, as the person who gives really a f about her, that I, that's just not gloating in her dream right now. Right. Had something to say about it, and I tried to fix her bra. One of her team members then wanted to try to fix her bra, but I'm gonna put the whole episode out and show y'all since she wants to try to leave thank yous. She want to try to leave thank yous to these raggedy ass like I'm not the one to help her help her get where she at. Well, damn. But I want y'all to go watch the episode, the before and after, I where, how I it. how I just went the f off because they're about to let my baby go out on stage looking like Kizzy from Africa, okay? Just because your titties hang don't. Who is Kizzy from Africa? I mean, you can't put a bra on. My titties hang too. I don't go outside or do no perform. My titties hanging right now. I'm on every video with the titties hanging. Got to. <laughs> That's why y'all only see this much of my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Do y'all know how much effort it take to sit some titties up and just let them stay for hours? Some of y'all may not know, because you ain't got jugulars like myself. But let me tell you something right now. I wasn't finna keep doing that. And when my people, y'all, told me to let my titties hang low, they have been hanging low ever since. All right, I appreciate y'all, because before, I was struggling. My back couldn't handle all that. <laughs> Performances without Ooh, my titties yeah. propped up right. Okay, so yes, oh I threw a God. temper tantrum last night because I her to, weird ass. I go to work every day with no bra. <laughs> stuff ass team that didn't really give a. F yeah. I want y'all after y'all go watch the episode. I want y'all to go tell her, Callie, your mom really saved your life. Oh my God. Go tell her, Callie, your mom really yeah. saved the f day because you was about to be out there looking like you needed some f drums and a bone in your m nose. Because your team was about to have you out there stretched out looking up. Drums and a bone in your nose and about to have you stretched out is crazy. Mess. Okay? <laughs> and a nail person posted your yet. Okay? <laughs> so make sure y'all run tell my daughter this entitlement that, that her and her siblings have. It's going to stop today because the mama's going to run this bag up and I'm not going to look back for a month. Nobody, okay? Not now, nobody. The mama's running the bag up. Because everybody I try to help is disrespectful and entitled. Just like Blue, I'm in this restaurant helping you build this shit. Got my coming through for the comedy. Oh, All she throwing him up under the bus too. My father. Oh, we packing this out. I get a liquor license and then you want to, y'all want to play games with y'all weird ass girlfriends and friends. Oh. Like, what the fuck? Is the problem i try to help you now if your girlfriends and your team had your titties together i would have just been able to sit there and enjoy the show oh. but you my daughter i'm not gonna let some weird ass that wish they was you oh let you go out on stage like that that's Here. not your team dumbass oh my now, god she giving everybody thank you talking about i ruined her night Be but y'all gonna see how her night would have been ruined today because they would have posted that shit everywhere look at Callie look how Callie got up on stage now y'all gonna see the before and afters and we gonna show my entitled ass kids yet again we gonna show her your mama saved your day okay <laughs> be grateful to your mama because your friends was finna and I got the before and after I went off okay they was finna let her go out on stage the before and after so I'm about to make sure my team put this episode out early Wait until next week. Mike, Sky, if y'all in here, we gonna pay for a whole hour today. So on Sunday, tomorrow, we gonna, I'm talking right now. Oh. We gonna put out both the episodes for a whole hour. We gonna put out both the whole episodes for a whole hour. So y'all can go tell my daughter, your mama saved your day. You was about to go out on stage looking, and, 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 and I want y'all to look at the makeup. Look at mm -hmm. everything. And mm -hmm. y'all know how pretty Callie is with or without no makeup. Your Beautiful makeup child. was ugly. Mm. I'm going to be real about it. Okay, Jesus your hair God. was your hair was decent. I like I was 
with the hair, whoever did the hair. Okay. The makeup was not, it wasn't it. And I put the red lipstick on her, okay? So when y'all see her before and after, I went in and made the necessary adjustments for her performance to turn out the way the f it did. And yes, I went off because if you sitting there and you my girl and my titties are sagging and my whole areola that's bigger than two quarter pieces is hanging out and I look like Kizzy from color purple and I'm gonna hit the stage like I'm Nicki Minaj, only that looked like two quart what about a hair okay because not the makeup the outfit was decent but it needed some adjustments i told i turned that upside down to get her from looking before and after okay so yes i'm a bit extra but i know how she's supposed to be i've been in this industry a long time to know you don't go out there with no bra on without no bra on they have my baby about to go out on stage with no bra on and you got two kids, you gonna just go on out there just like that? That's what we doing? And your friends like, oh, that's cute. Girl, your friends don't shave their underarm pits. <laughs> I will say, I don't ask nobody if they like my outfit no more. Niggas be lying. I, I, I got it. I got this. You can't get no advice from them. Have them clean up your clothes or dab some sh or do something. Then she ain't have lotion. My assistant, Bree, had to put lo Go be look at the before and after. As she ass. And then when the ass ain't ass, she Bree rubbed that down with lotion. Because I said, Bree, what, what, what we doing? Can, you, can somebody make a move before I make a move? Because I know I'm going to go off. And yes, I did go off. But if she wants to say that I ruined her performance, it turned out to be amazing. And she looked amazing because of me. And we, the whole world, finna be see the before and after. I, I try to keep stuff with me and Callie on the low low, yeah. Because she's ungrateful also. I try to keep it on the low low because I don't, I don't want, I don't want y'all to be like, oh, you just don't get along with none of your kids. Because it's you the don't. entitlement. You're here because I'm out here shaking and baking and moving and scraping. Okay. If I give you some advice, tell these. My mom said, tighten this. <laughs> how, do it how my mama want it. I ain't gonna so, lie, this a Leo thing, for sure. But you just can't be out here doing it to your daughter. You know what I'm saying? Or your kids just why? Like same thing with Blue. All he had to do with Krishan was my mama said, "Don't bring the dog in here. She don't want to clean up no dog." Shit. But they want to try to force me to accept. It sounds like to me she's entitled too. The mediocre that they doing, and that's why they. <laughs> Stop trying to tell me how to run this. <laughs> Just like when I put y'all on these basketball yeah. teams and got you these full ride scholarships and these contracts before y'all weird asses got there. Who the fuck y'all? Y'all thought y'all was that good? Do you they want an that, that good? Come on now, you know Blue helped you. They thought they was. They thought they thought they was Cam Newton. That's what they thought. No, y'all got that because I'm out here making moves. I got the gift of gab and I believe in making shit happen. Y'all carpet munchers sitting around acting like y'all got it, y'all don't. Okay? The best thing Blue had going for him was that restaurant. And that liquor license popped up on the scene. I got him that liquor license. Boom. Here come the devil. He ain't got the restaurant no more. That was long term. We had a goal and a plan. We would be at about four million a year on the restaurant right now. If I I was supposed to get restaurant number two, I already picked out restaurant number two on La Brea in his hood. Whole. If I go show y'all the restaurant that I picked, I'm glad you did. That number two restaurant. You will scream to where my son should be at right now. Now you a partner. And the partner people ain't even opening your sh while you gone. Your mama had your sh up and running. Now Callie thinks she got the big head and she got two f running around with her. And okay, they was about to let you go out on stage looking f up. Now that's fine if they don't f with me. But it don't look like they f with you neither. <laughs> because if my friend ever let me go out on stage with my titties hanging, and don't say, oh, babe, you need a bra. Or, or let my ass be ashy and I'm twerking? Yeah, Kelly might have had a couple drinks, was feeling herself, but your homegirls is supposed to be help you get elevate. Them two that's standing next to you at all times is supposed to help you elevate. I agree they with that. They at all times supposed to be oiling you down. Unless you they ass. hate. This are bad. That's, you're their bag. You're their bag. You're supposed to get them to the next level.
level of doing Nicki Minaj makeup. They won't if they hate you. Or doing this person makeup. You there, you're there, you're their prop or their bag right now. And if I don't share Cali, who gonna share it? Now this gonna call me and ask me, the weird ass makeup artist. Let me get the footage to Cali's show. Why? Cause you didn't video. Why you ain't got no video footage of your bitch? We don't never let me go out like that. Right, so now they ain't got too. no video footage. So now they gonna call and be mad. So now you gonna see right now that me and Callie ain't getting along because I won't give up six out video footage for her to go put on Instagram for free. Now why the f would I do that? That's not a money move. <laughs> and I paid for the mother. You know how much video our, our <laughs> sessions cost? I'm paying for the cameras to be out there. Why would I give you something to put on Instagram for free? That makes no sense. But I'm about to just go my way. Work on my auntie's podcast <coughs> show for the Zeus Network. Well, Continue to work on my six eye because I got a great team and a great show coming on the network. I don't here. need my kids. I'm doing them a favor. Thanks. They keep thinking that I need them. You, Y'all don't need me. Blue, can't, Blue cannot get up and sing Tatiana when he's 40. But if we would have had a chain of Shaquille O'Neal restaurants, what he would have been doing at 40? With his feet propped up and the shit was running and rolling. Blue didn't put no money into that restaurant. Every dollar that I used, he bought the equipment and put me in there. The expansion to the next place all came out the restaurant. All the liquor license, all that shit, I was rolling and flipping, already flipping. We only one year in the game and we already flipping that money. I'm okay. I'm okay. We was flipping that restaurant money, okay? Flip. I did a whole other side, opened up, had somebody come cut a wall out. Got a liquor license. We on the road. Here come Krishan. Now you ain't got no restaurant. Because when your mom pull out the game, you don't really have no game. That was your long-term future goal. That was your future bag. Do y'all know how much money Shaquille O'Neal make just on that restaurant, that one downtown establishment? Go look it up if I'm lying. He do between between 3 and $5 million a year selling the same shit we was making our numbers was matching his year numbers i'm watching his numbers i'm watching my son numbers i'm already doing this i already damn this is all this is nothing to me i do this in my sleep i sold a restaurant in ohio for quarter million dollars i do this in my sleep I now you know she get the line she might be lying about that i flip it if i don't <laughs> want to be there i sell it i make my money i get to moving now my son can't he ain't even sold this at least sell it. Now this just sitting there waiting on you to come home. Because you got too dizzy who can't run it. And you thought that quick money that they was going to make you when you was going to be, that was dumb. If anything, your restaurant, we, we was on, he already said, all right, mom, go go get number two. I'm on the number two. If I sh I'm going to show y'all what, matter of fact, I want that on the next episode. The restaurant that me and Blue was supposed to open on La Brea in his hood. Okay. Uh, Rep Wilshire oh, okay. and La Brea. Now there's a new soul food restaurant there right now. And go look at their numbers. Don't play with me when I'm on the phone. Uh. These kids is so ungrateful. Y'all just don't know how hard it is for a mother to get their kids where they're supposed go. to be, where they envisioned on being, because they think they got it all together. Now Callie ain't nowhere done did a episode. We ain't seen her <laughs> since uh, we ain't seen her again on Baddies yet. Okay, I don't know if she's shadow banned from their advertisement or what. But I told her, I said, don't go over there with Natalie. She the boss. Don't do that. It's Hollywood. I've been out here a long time. I know how this shit work. You got it. You got it. Now my son's sitting in jail. Ain't got no restaurant. Hoping he get out and make another Tatiana. So other people could eat off that and take half of that. The restaurant was all him. Damn. Okay? That was all him. <laughs> I don't him. even have nothing to say. She on his ass. No. She on their ass. I, this, is first, this ain't the first time. It's probably the second time I can say she sound like she right <laughs> about whatever whatever happened. Every she dollar right. that was coming in there, I was flipping that shit. Do y'all realize Blue had a liquor license in Santa Clarita, California? This nigga's the only nigga. He's the only nigga in Santa Clarita with a business. And a liquor license. And we was packing that out for comedy every weekend, y'all. We had 10 to 15 employees on payroll. Not hidden.
Dayton employees, not down low. We had the real shit going on. You see how my kids try to play me like, oh, my mama cloud chasing. It's my mama nigga. If it wasn't for me, y'all wouldn't have shit. Y'all wouldn't be shit. Y'all wouldn't be here. Damn. Okay? I paid for all them studio sessions. Every time the called, I dished out the money. No questions asked. But y'all want to run around here thinking, oh, mama blue cloud chasing. Mama blue holding shit down. Okay, now Callie thinks she a movie star and she uh, a one hit wonder with the TV. She got one good song going. Now today she's supposed to do the celebrity basketball. The people calling me, she they want her to perform for the celebrity basketball. I ain't got nothing to do with that. They was filling her music last night, but they looking for me, looking for her. So they call me because they can't get a hold of her team because somebody on her team probably hooked her up with that interview so they can get paid on the back end or some clout. She don't even know. The, they not calling, telling you about, they got a whole jersey made for her to play in the game and then go change clothes and perform at a celebrity basketball game during BET weekend. This goes and does, tell me I'm going to do a, I got an interview, but you were supposed to do like Nicki Minaj and tell them I can't do the interview, I can pull up next week. I got celebrity basketball game and I'm going to perform in front of other celebrities. Literally. I got to make this money move. Literally. Your team, who don't even shave their <laughs> dusty ass underarm pits, how you trust a bitch that don't even shave her underarm? Is that your she really don't shave. How you got a team member with a dirty black ass underarm? I can't stand that hoe, I'm telling you. Then this girl calls me, time out. Can we get footage of Callie performing last night? You mean the footage that I paid for for my show? Yeah, absolutely now, why not. why would I do that? And, and wouldn't. Why would I give Callie footage from last night? Because you didn't video? Because you was too busy chilling? Was she chilling? She <laughs> was chilling. How your girls there with you, helping you go to the top, but they don't got no video footage. No video? Y'all ain't got no footage? Crazy. You mean I'm the only one with the footage? The mother who ruined her night? It's cool, though, because I'm going to put the footage out. I'm going to show them how your girls had you about to walk out on stage looking <laughs> with no drums and no bone in your nose. It did, the concept didn't go, Okay. I don't know what the no drums, know was Whoopi Gold no drums in the bone of your nose Urban mean. Nicki Minaj. It was like she was trying to do both. I mean, I'm I, I, I'm confused, but we go we go. I'm gonna post the before and after. I'm gonna make sure it's in the trailer just in case y'all cheap ass. You know how y'all do. Y'all don't want to watch the whole show, and I'm gonna make sure it's in the trailer, and then y'all can hear the dialogue. Y'all to hear my dialogue. How nice I was and how nice I tried to do it. I wasn't ghetto or disrespectful. I didn't ruin her dress and get the lipstick on it. The bitch tried to snatch the dress out of my hand. I snatched it back. Yes, Callie was wearing it. So, yes, uh, technically it was a tug of war over my daughter. If I <laughs> grab my daughter, you move the <laughs> out the way. That's my daughter. I brought her here. I take both you out. <laughs> Why she was moving me while well, I'm moving Callie? Y'all, she hot. So, Brie couldn't fix it because she wanted to act I ain't like. Mad. Now, it's a strap that you know how y'all got the bra. That straps on both sides so you could cross the strap. Yeah. Why was this dizzy tying my daughter's bra in a knot? If I'm lying, watch the episode. This this ain't promo. This real talk, this real promo. shit. Watch the episode and then and I'm, I'm want talking about you promoting the hell out of it. Y'all to go tell that dirt dusty underarm pit ass dreadlock bomba. What's the the predator looking like the predator y'all go tell her you was about to do carlissa daughter wrong and she tried to stop you because i already know what you want you y'all when y'all when my daughter friends tell me i wish i was callie i wish i had a mom like callie. Uh. they're so ungrateful then they now she callie best friend but before that she wished she had a mom like callie okay yeah y'all see where i'm coming from with yep. this she a hating see, ass Yep. That's where I'm coming from with this. Yep. Now, this is the come up move. Now, Mick, close as me and Callie been, tight as we've been, bobbing and weaving. Now, here come the devil sending that destruction. Tell, just, I want to know if the bitch is baptized. Because why you got people on your team that ain't baptized? I taught you don't move with a that ain't been baptized. Why you talk, Why you even, why, why is she even on your team? Child. Is she from our hood? Is she from hood Jesus Christ? No. I can guarantee you I don't know, but I know she ain't been dipped.
Because ain't nobody that's been dipped finna snatch my daughter's bra out my hand because you didn't want to crisscross it when it crisscrossed. She's tying her bra in a knot. Who ties their bra in a knot before a major performance? I'm trying to have her out there looking ratchet. It was almost 500 people there. Exactly. Who does that? Now, once I grabbed my daughter's bra and started to work on it, you were supposed to say, oh, I'm sorry, I missed that. Let me, do you need me to do anything else, moms? This bitch didn't even speak to me. Y'all gonna watch the episode. From the moment I walk up to my daughter, this bitch rolls her eyes, don't even speak to me. How you gonna be friends with my daughter and don't acknowledge and respect? You a whole Krishan. Damn. How you not gonna respect my daughter? You think God finna let you get away with this? Oh, my God. That's what you think? Do you not see? That ain't making no sense. If my daughter, if I touch my daughter and say, move out the way I got it, that mean go to the other side of the building. That mean get out my way. Because I won't hit you. I'm going to look at Bree and she going to knock you cold the f out. She ain't going to, but I might. I, <laughs> <laughs> she like, wait a minute. Girl, I'm telling you, that was that was that right there. Y'all, I think we got the story, girl. I can't even continue to react to it. She just is going off on them as per usual. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I am done with this video. Uh love y'all, appreciate y'all. Hey yeah.